What's poppin' and welcome back to another episode of Fletcher the Fisherman. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you know I use this boat like crazy right here behind me. And that is why you're probably clicking on this video. But if you're new to the channel, welcome to the coolest little pond boat that you've ever seen. You can put this thing in ponds, small lakes, rivers, big lakes, ocean. Doesn't matter, this thing can handle it all. And it is probably one of the coolest boats that I've ever had the pleasure of using, owning, and fishing out of. So in this video, I just wanna go over all the details of this boat, all the features, and all the stuff that I've customly done to it to just kinda of make it my own little rig right here. And I'm sure by the end of this video, you're gonna probably be wanting one yourself. So let me go ahead and hand the camera to my buddy over here, and we're gonna jump right into this thing. Follow me over here, guys. Let's uh, jump right into it. So y'all see the boat right here. Very obvious it's a plastic boat. There's a lot of plastic boats out there, but the thing that makes this boat stand out is that it is all one solid piece. It's one solid mold. There isn't anything that's actually clipped together. So this boat is not gonna fall apart on you, and it's actually made out of a super high grade, plastic that's really thick really dense and you could beat this boat to death and it is not gonna fail on you and it cannot sink it's actually foam filled uh, in the middle of it inside this plastic so this boat even if you leave the drain plug out it can't sink which is a really cool feature and then as you kind of come over here you can see these trays and there's these little cups right here they actually hold your rods they hold bait casters great they hold spinning rods great and I actually drive around this Thing with the boat on the trailer with all my stuff in here usually with the golf cart but my stuff almost never bounces out like maybe like a, a little small thing but this does a really good job of keeping your stuff in there especially on the water you'll never have a problem let's jump into the seats as you can tell this baby holds two and they're swivel seats so they can spin around you can move around and they're actually on a, a sliding little thing right here so you can slide them back and forth both seats can do that so you can position them however you'd like on the boat and then the coolest thing about this boat what makes this boat truly unique guys is this right here you see these pedals you can press them and that is actually controlling two trolling motors that are actually mounted up underneath the hull of the boat there's one on this side one on that side and each foot pedal controls them individually so you can press forward to go forward you can press back to go back and if you press one forward and one back you can actually spin this thing in a perfect circle in one spot and really position yourself however you would like and it really makes for some awesome hands-free fishing. So you're not sitting there messing with the trolley motor. All you're doing is working it with your feet. You can work it standing up, you can work it sitting down and spend more time fishing. And it is really probably one of my favorite ways to fish little small bodies of water. So y'all are probably wondering how easy is this boat to move around? When having a small boat, most people want something that's easy to move around, easy to get on and off a truck bed, on and off a trailer, uh, and be able to move it by themselves. Let me tell you guys, this boat may look like it's big and heavy, but I think it only weighs like 125, 100, something, somewhere around there um, without the battery in it. And so it's super easy to move around by yourself. You can get this dolly for it and just bring it over here. This can all be done with one person. You don't need two people to do this. And you just bring it up to the side of the boat. Then you come over here, you unhook your boat from the trailer right here. And you take it off, you push this thing right on back just a little bit. And now it's over the top of your dolly. And you just pull it all the way back to the end of the dolly right here. Stick on this clip. And now this thing is ready to be moved around by pretty much anybody. It's super easy to do. The dolly takes all the weight. Pull it right on off. Get it right to where it's finally taken all the weight. Check that guys out. You can just walk this thing around one hand. Super easy. This boat is really light. Easy to get in and out of the water with one person. Really doesn't take much effort at all. And it's just as easy to get back on the trailer if you're not launching it straight on a boat ramp or something like that. All you do, pull it on up as far as you can with the dolly still on it. Just get it right on up there. Unhook the dolly. And then all you gotta do is pull it up even farther. 
super easy, doesn't weigh much like I said, even with the battery in it and fully loaded with fishing tackle. And you just hook that baby on. And just like that, you are ready to rock and roll and take your boat on home. So those are all the main features of the twin trailer, but I wanna show y'all what I've done to this thing myself to personalize it. I've added this fish finder. This doesn't come standard with it. And I just wired this thing straight out the back. And if you come over here, I bought a little aftermarket uh, transducer mount for my trolling motor, or I mean, uh, not my trolling motor, for my, uh, for my fish finder right here. And this thing just swings up and down, nice and easy. And it locks back into place. Super simple to operate. And then the other cool thing that I added up here in the front was I actually went and bent this little piece of aluminum and drilled it in to the actual bow right here and just drilled some holes in the top to hold my tools. It makes it really easy to access my stuff when I'm actually using the boat and makes it just my life a lot simpler. And the other little thing that I added in here in the back is actually this little cup holder right here. And this little cup holder is just great for holding all kinds of little tools as well for the person in the back. And then as you can tell, this thing in the middle is my bread and butter. The fa my favorite thing that I've ever made for my personalized fishing experience. And this is like the ultimate little tackle system. And as you can tell, it holds one, two, three, four, five. And you could actually put a six tackle box in here. These are all 3,700 size tackle boxes and they fit in perfectly. Here, I'll take them out so you can see actually how this thing is put together. And I took some sheet metal, bent it at a 90 degree, and bolted it in into the bottom of this tray. So all these things just slide in perfectly. Same thing over here. The last one over here, just a little bit bigger compartment. And I just put a spinnerbait box in there and has some extra things. In the front, I took uh, a piece of plastic and plastic welded it across the front so I have this long tray and I just put all my soft plastics and things like that in there and then I have another piece of sheet metal in the back with more holes for my tools that's drilled in there and then just a little piece of PVC that is great for holding different shaped tools like this little gripper weigher right here and that is basically it and the cool thing about this little whole system is it's actually the bait well that comes with the boat or that you can purchase separately if you don't buy the model with the actual bait well i just chopped it in half and then used some stuff around my dad's shop to put it all together with the extra metal and things like that so it fits perfectly in here and probably like one of the unintended features of this thing that i thought was really cool that ended up working out for me as you see all these things on the bottom, those are actually what are keeping those pieces of metal in place. But they work as actually like grip on this right here. The, the actual little plastic gripping on the bottom of this boat, they kind of lock into it so this thing doesn't slide around at all while it's on the back of the boat or all that stuff. So, you know, this is really just the ultimate little tackle system that I've built and customized for myself. So I've talked about all the features, so let's actually take this over to the water and I wanna show y'all how stable this boat is. I'm sure some of y'all have seen some videos about these in the past and you're actually wondering how stable this thing is. So I wanna show y'all exactly how stable it is. So let's go ahead and take this thing to the water. Another thing I added to this boat, guys, for when I'm launching it off the trailer, or just in general, is this rope. I actually just tied it around the front handle of the boat. Makes it easy for me to let that thing float out there and just bring it right back to the bank where I can easily hop on. Highly recommend doing this to your boat if you decide to get one. It is definitely a lifesaver in a lot of circumstances. It makes your life a lot easier. But all you gotta do is just hop in the boat like so and the actual trolling motor holes in this thing they need to fill up with water so what this thing actually does is when you push on these pedals to start it it's going to make a bunch of noise and that's just the air purging from these actual trolling motor chambers and what it does from that it also suctions the boat to the water so this becomes super super stable i can actually stand on this with another full-size man on one side and it will not flip so let me go ahead and fill this thing up and show you all that 
So the air's purged from the chambers, and now I wanna show y'all how stable this boat is. Here's me standing on a 10 foot plastic boat on the edge, bouncing up and down. This thing is not gonna tip, it's not gonna flip on you. It's extremely stable, especially for you older, older folks that just need something really stable to stand on on the water so you don't fall in. But let's go ahead and jump into actually how this thing performs. And just like advertised guys, I'm off in a flash. Wanna turn, just hit back on the trolling motors, one forward, one back, and this thing will actually just spin in a circle like this. So it makes it really easy to maneuver if you're trying to get something untangled or just wanna move around in a tight spot. And it is a dream come true. So the last thing that I think that some of y'all might be wondering, how easy is this thing to fish out of with two people on here? And let me tell you, I fish on this thing with my friends, my dad, and all sorts of people all the time. And I've never, ever, ever had any kind of incidents of us really having a problem fishing two people on here, trying to cast in the same areas, trying to cast on top of each other. There really is a ton of space in here when you're using it and it feels really natural and easy to use. It's really intuitive after you've been in here for a second. As mentioned in the beginning of the video, I've used this boat and owned this boat for a long time, but recently I've finally been able to partner with Twin Troller and get a code for you guys to get actually $100 off on this boat, I've already popped it up on the screen earlier in the video, but if you wanna get $100 off this boat, use code FTF100 on freedomelectricmarine.com. That link will be also in the description down below, so make sure to check it out if you're interested in purchasing one of these boats. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. And as always, fasten is a passion. Peace.